An airy silence falls over the dark forest as the cold winter reaches its pinnacle. Though this area will one day become the frozen continent of Antarctica in the early Jurassic period, it is much further north, there are no ice caps, and it rarely drops below freezing. Though there are still three months of total darkness in winter, and three months of constant sunlight in summer. Beneath the canopy, a lone hunter is prowling. She is a large Crylophosaurus, and she is looking for food. This time of year is always difficult, as the large game she preys upon in the summer has migrated north, and the small creatures are either hibernating or are too well hidden. This year has been extra hard, however. It is unusually cold this month, and she hadn't eaten enough during the summer. Even worse, a wound on her leg is making the situation desperate. If she doesn't eat, she won't heal, and if she doesn't heal, she won't be able to hunt come spring. A rustling to her left startles her. She shifts her head to face the sound. Even in the low light, she can see extraordinarily well. Some of the small ferns that litter the forest floor move, and a single shrill squeak tells her all she needs to know. It was just a small mammal, no more than half a kilogram, and not worth the time or energy. The female sniffs the air, but she can't catch anything on the wind. She does, however, see snowfall. This is extremely rare, as snow rarely falls anywhere but the mountain peaks. With food continuing to remain scarce and the weather getting worse, she has one option. She finds an abandoned cave that is sheltered from the wind, and lays down. Though she cannot hibernate, she can put her body into a form of suspended animation in order to conserve the little energy she has left, while also remaining alert enough to be able to react if any noise that might be prey or a threat gets too close. She will stay like this for a few weeks, waiting till the sun rises for the first time. One week passes. Two weeks pass. Three weeks pass, and for the first time in three months, the sun briefly appears on the horizon, sending beams of light through the forest and hitting the long jaws of the female Cryolophosaurus. But the large predator doesn't wake up. This winter has been too hard for her. The cold temperatures and lack of food were too much for her body to handle, and she passed away in her sleep only two days prior. Out of the undergrowth, a young Cryolophosaurus, less than a year old, emerges and moves towards the female's body, knowing instinctively that she is dead. The youngsters survived by preying on the small mammals that the female couldn't make use of, and now that the hardest part of the year is over, he has stumbled upon more than he could ever eat alone. As the small Cryolophosaurus begins to nip at the adult's carcass, other yearlings come out of the scrubs to join him. Though the female may have lost her fight with the elements, her death has assured that the next generation will live that much longer. Hello everyone and welcome back to the show. Today we will be covering one of only two dinosaur species to be found in Antarctica, Cryolophosaurus. Cryolophosaurus was a large theropod dinosaur from the early Jurassic period. The species is known from one specimen, a relatively intact skeleton found on Mount Kirkpatrick by Dr. William Hammer in 1991. From these fossils, the creature is estimated to be 6 to 7 meters long. However, it is believed that the fossils are that of a sub-adult, so when fully grown, it could have been up to 8 meters long, stood 2.5 meters high, and weighed up to 800 kilograms. Cryolophosaurus lived in the early Jurassic period, between 190 million years ago and 185 million years ago, making it the largest known predator of the time period. Its name means frozen crested lizard, referencing the pompadour-like crest that sits on top of its head, giving it its nickname of Elvisosaurus. The crest itself is an extension of the cranial bone between the eye sockets, and was most likely used for display and attracting mates. Little is known about what Antarctica was like in prehistoric times, as fossils are so rare. However, during the early Jurassic it would have still been connected to Africa, South America, and Australia. The environment Cryolophosaurus lived in would have been forested, capable of supporting a large variety of life 
including the one other dinosaur species discovered on the continent, Glaciosaurus, a sauropodomorph. At the time, it would have been the largest carnivore on the planet, and probably fed on everything from small dinosaurs, both herbivorous and carnivorous, to the megafauna of the time. Cryolophosaurus and its discovery is an important reminder that our world is constantly changing. Where there is now a frozen desert used to be a lush, forested area, which was able to produce such a large and interesting looking predator. What environmental or social pressures led to this species developing such a unique bone crest is fascinating to think about. Now you'll often hear that these interesting physical traits are for display because, in all honesty, it's a good guess and scientists have to speculate on a creature that's been extinct for hundreds of millions of years with little remaining evidence of the animal. So, this is another species that we unfortunately know shockingly little about, which in fairness isn't surprising given where it was dug up. Cryolophosaurus is nonetheless one of the more unique looking large carnivorous dinosaurs, and I for one hope that more about it and the region it lived in is discovered about it. So, what do you think of Cryolophosaurus? Would you look upon it in awe or terror? Let me know which lesser known dinosaur you like me to cover in a future episode. Until then, see you around.